our role in the overall scheme of things is to do the initial screening of the donor to recover those tissues without harming them so that they can be used to be turned into a graft and then to following all the guidelines FDA, AATB and the processors get those tissues to the processor so that they can begin to turn those tissues into particular graphs that they would make. We are usually paged out by our CSCs and they tell us where we need to go and where our donor is at. We have different criteria depending on male, female, and age of the donor and um, how they were or how they became deceased, you know, the different mechanisms of injury that were involved. We usually get packed up in all of our instruments and uh, anything we're going to need for the specific case and head out to the hospital. At the hospital, you're dealing with the staff, uh, making sure that they are okay with everything, that they have an OR for you. There's three of us on a team. All of our process is done in the OR, sterile process. Um, it usually takes about, if it's a corneas only, it's going to be an hour, but if it's a full donor, it could be easily six hours recovering in the OR. Tissue donation includes skin, corneas, um, bones, tendons. Um, we also do uh, veins and arteries and heart for valves. Now, a lot of people get this confused with an organ donation heart. The heart that we recover is specifically for the uh, tricuspid valves that are used in valve transplants. When we are done uh, with a tissue procurement, we do insert a prosthetic device into the areas, generally the lower extremities, that we have recovered from. Make somebody as natural looking as we can 